I'm Victor. I'm Joanna. And he's William. And a, a few years ago, we sort of quit our city jobs and stopped living in London to roam around the canals working on a cafe boat serving people, towpath wanderers and dog walkers. And living on a boat too. Hiya. Can I please get a one-shot cappuccino? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Cappuccino coming up. We were living in Hackney in London and we were working sort of in central London. We were freelance TV editors. With the long hours and the kind of lifestyle was slightly unhealthy, or at least I couldn't find a way to make it seem healthy while also doing that job. It was stressful. There's a lot of deadlines. When I first moved onto a boat, it was, I was just looking for kind of more or less like anything new, I think. At that time in my career, I was kind of like a bit of a stalemate. I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I went to a, a bank to see if I could get a loan. They gave me one, which I was surprised about, and mm -hmm. I moved out of my flat, quit my job and bought a boat within about a week. I didn't know anybody who lived on a narrow boat, and I didn't know anything about them, and the learning curve was steep. But it gave me a lot of freedom, and I've really enjoyed it and never looked back. And I just went along and looked back. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, sir. A little cappuccino for you there. Thank you. We were looking on Gumtree, we were looking on eBay, um, we looked on a website called Apollo Duck, and we were just looking, we didn't really know what we were looking for, but just something that looked a bit different. And then when we saw this one and we saw the windows, we were like, yeah, that would make a great cafe. We bought it for £20,000. The work that we did involved ripping out everything that was in here in terms of the wood and stuff like that that was in here replacing all of that we've done all the electrics and all the plumbing we did a full repaint of the outside i guess built the kitchen and turned all the bits that make turn it into a cafe like the co coffee machine fitted all that sort of stuff and we've spent ages on the engine the biggest adjustments are probably like just all the things that you're plugged into in a house electric um, gas or something to cook with um, hot water all of those things like now take work to get it's the narrowness that gets you, you yeah can't, you can't. closes in on you yeah privacy but you're on the towpath all the time be prepared to worry a lot more than you thought you were going to worry about your boat sinking, your boat catching on fire, water running levels. out of water, running out of coal. The best thing about living on the narrow boat is the travel, like moving around, seeing new places. You get to just travel the country and like live in some great places um, without sort of having to either commit to it or spend too much money to live there. So I'd say the financial freedom. You're afforded a bit of financial flexibility at least. You can kind of afford to go without a few things if you need to. William's favourite part about living on the canal is by far the geese. Uh, yeah, the, the, the wildlife. You can get rid of boats, you can sell boats and buy boats much easier than houses. So if it turns out it wasn't for you, you're not burdened with something that's too difficult to just change again. You can, within a week, probably be renting a flat somewhere else.